<laughs> Horsey! Two more chapters of Wind and Truth this week. Plus, we finally get a look at the cover. Sorry, the cover. Goodness, the cover. Likely Michael Whelan's last book cover, though he sort of retired once before in the late 90s, so we'll see. This little guy is actually his signature, so not some arcane weird thing. Sorry, guys. Now, chapter 10. But first, patrons! Thank you, Doug, Matt, Steve, Data Gremlin, Alec, Craig, Scotty, James, Dalinar's butt, Moochie, Chris, Mithi Carone, Gallant Aegis, and the son of James. Not much in the epigraphs this week, at least new information. Yeah, Zeth's important, we know. We find out what stuff Syl had to go get, and she brought Cal as a pack human to carry it for her. <laughs> I wonder if this librarian uh, book quartermaster is evil. Kinda. Yakoved's invented movable type! That's gonna make books a lot cheaper. Though isn't Yakoved under Odium's control right now? Sil's giving out copies of Way of Kings 2. First Dalinar, then me. And she's got a chull head where her <laughs> is supposed to be. So many jokes. All of them wildly inappropriate. And let's not get fan art of this. <laughs> she feeds it grass? <laughs> <laughs> and she manages to pick up a quill and write. Syl's really embracing the Kaladin scribe role with gusto. And men usually have their wives scribe for them. Siladin is looking more and more plausible the deeper we get into this book. Kaladin chooses to not make a scene, and instead convinces the evil librarian to go to therapy. Talk about your problems, friends. Bringing things out in the open usually makes them less scary. Yeah, I gotta go back. Chapter 11. What's happening in Shinovar is maybe more important than the literal contest with a god for the fate of the planet, if not the entire Cosmere? No pressure, boys. It's called substantiation, giving a lightweaving substance. Probably an ability exclusive to lightweavers, since they can combine with soul casting. Why had the Radiance forbidden it? Is this what nuked Ashen somehow? Abidi, the monarch, who's definitely not crazy, runs off to tell Odium. A voice? Who? leads Shallan to Adolin, and the beads seem eager to help, which is different than before. She wonders if Adolin is real. I guess that's a good enough reason to not use this new power. When you can literally create your own reality, how can you trust anything? It's the brain in the jar theory again. That whole spiritual realm leaking into her drawings happens on a much larger scale, with Ba Adomishram's face appearing in the wall of the bead room that Shalon made, and starts spouting some very aggressive threats. Seems like, yeah, she's gotten angry. 10,000 years will give you such a crick in the neck! Adolin slams a greatsword into it, like the best boy he is. They get back up to the surface, and Crazy Face Fused comes back to finish off a fallen Windrunner. Adolin, half-sorting, which is really cool, takes him out. Brandon's Elden Ring and LARPing experience is getting put to good use. Seriously, Adolin's the best. I'm gonna be real sad when he dies. Radiant pulls out a shard bow. I wonder if the arrows could actually do damage. Is Shallan giving her illusions mass? What exactly is substance? And if so, could she do that at a distance? We've talked about the inevitability of Lightweavers fighting with lasers before, but could Shallan functionally make a railgun? Make the illusion of an arrow at speed and then give it tons of mass at the last instant? Oh dear. They escape down into the beads to collect their spren. The Shadesmark compass Drehi has points to the Grand Nell, Source of the current, the death of a god. I assume that's talking about Adenalsium. Maybe like the faraway sun with the streaky clouds. So is Yolan Subastral the North Pole of the Cognitive Realm? Oh man, did they kill Santa? Santa Claus is dead. Gallant's leading a herd of music spren, who all can just run on the surface of the beads. His glowing afterimage, Shallan suspects, is a bonded music spren. They're overlapping him. Eventually, the Spren all run off, except one that lingers for a brief interaction with Adolin. It's sure blood Spren! Oh, my heart! They hide in a light-woven herd of music Spren and see a full armada of singer ships also heading to Azimir. Drehi speculates they came from Cultivation's perpendicularity in the Horn Eater Peaks, which doesn't bode well for Rock's people. That's a lot of singers to get up a mountain. And finally, we get Shallan's sketch of Gallant, the music Spren, and sure blood Spren! <laughs> it specifically implies, like the true Spren, music Spren have sapience, which 
shouldn't be too much of a surprise if you've been paying attention to Rishadium. It sounds like big things are going to be happening next week. Join my Patreon or hop on my Discord to talk about them before we read and find out. Thank you. The end.